Let us talk about normal distribution curve in this video lecture. The question given here is if the test score of a class are normally distributed and the average score is 65, the standard deviation is 10, then draw the data on a normal curve and interpret it. So to answer this question, we have to draw a normal curve. A normal curve is usually a bell-shaped curve. A bell-shaped curve is symmetrical on both sides with a peak in the middle. It has equal areas on both sides. So if this is the mean, that is mu, and that is equal to 65 as given in the question, this means 50% of the students have scored greater than 65% and 50% have lesser score than 65%. So let us see if the standard deviation is 10, how much percentage of students have got how much marks. On y-axis it will be the frequency of distribution. So on uh, moving on right hand side at standard deviation 10, Standard deviation is represented by the letter sigma. At sigma 1, the score will be 75, 75%. And the percentage of observation, number of students that have scored between 65 and 75, as per the Z score table, is 34.13%. This is, this is empirical rule. As per Z score table, that the number of observ observations falling between the mean and the first standard deviation is 34.13%. So this will be same on the left hand side also, because there will be students falling. 50% uh, of students are below this 65% marks. It is the mean of that. So at minus sigma one which is equal to 55% score, the percentage of students falling between 55 and 65 will be again 34.13%. So as we move on into the next standard deviation that is sigma 2, the score will be 85% and the number of students falling between 65 and 85 is 47.73%. So only this part between this and this it is 13.59 percent so students uh, number of students that those have got 75 uh, percent score and 85 percent score in between score 75 to 85 are 13 13.59 percent similarly 13.59 percent students have got score between between 45% and 55%. Because the standard deviation is 10, so we are moving by 10, 10% uh, on each side. So sigma is 10, that's why the sigma is 10, sigma is equal to 10. That's why we are moving, we are decreasing 10%. Uh, from 65 percent or we were adding 10 percent on 65 percent and so on. So if it is asked the what is the percentage of student those have scored greater than 85 percent it is this area that includes the number of the percentage of observation that have got uh, more than 85 percent. What is that percentage? We will have to add uh, this one from here to here it is 34.13%, uh, from here to here it is 13.59%, the total is already given 47 point, this is 47.73%. So the rest is from here to here it is, it is merely 2.27%. So 2.27% of the students have got score 
above 85 percent and similarly 2.25 27% of students have got score below 45%. So, this is the bell separate curve. Uh, it will look like this if the average score or the mean is 65 and the standard deviation is 10. Thanks for watching.